Close your eyes, focus on the breath. Try to develop some goodness as you do this. In other words, goodness of the mind. What kind of mind is good? One that's mindful, alert, ardent. In other words, you've learned lessons from the past, and you don't forget them, you apply them right now. You pay attention to what you're doing, and you try to do it really well. All of that's a sign of a good mind and a good heart. The two have to go together. The good mind figures things out, and the good heart has good intentions. And if they're working at cross-purposes, in other words, you can figure things out, but your intentions aren't good, that's not the kind of person you want. Or if you have good intentions, but you can't figure out what actually is good, that doesn't really work either. The two qualities have to go together. So your attention is good to get the mind to settle down so it can see itself clearly, to see where it's causing unnecessary stress. And then your mind is good as you try to figure things out. No, a good mind doesn't necessarily mean that you had to understand how to read books and you know all the vocabulary. In the ancient times they made a distinction between what was called scribe knowledge and warrior knowledge. Scribes are good at defining things. Warriors are good at, fi at figuring out how to solve a problem. And that's the kind of knowledge we're, and kind of intelligence that we're working on here. It sees a problem in the mind and tries to figure it out. Now we use definitions, we use concepts, so it's good to be clear about those, because they help to clear up a lot of the murkiness in the mind. But you also have to be good about figuring out what you're doing and where it's wrong, so that you can make a correction. So obviously if you see that something is going to lead to harm, you don't want to do it. But there are a lot of areas where it's, un it's not clear, so you have to be willing to experiment. Try to figure out what seems to be the best course of action, follow through, and then watch it to make sure that you've actually got things right. And this is how you develop your practical intelligence, your warrior intelligence. You've got the warrior's intelligence and a good person's heart. That's when the mind progresses, that's when the heart progresses. They help each other along. When they split ways, that's when we have trouble. So try to bring them together. And remember here, you're, you're doing battle with your defilements. Greed, aversion, and delusion. They're tricky, tricky enemies, but they are your enemies. The problem is that they've wheedled themselves into your confidence, so you actually think that they're your, you and yours. So you have to realize where you've got some traitors inside the ones who try to run things, not really for long-term benefit, but only for short-term benefit. Those are the ones you've got to do battle with. So strengthen all the good side you have in the mind, all the good side you have in the heart. And remember that this is a path of victory. The Buddha didn't just give up and say, well, I'll just accept whatever comes by and train myself to be okay with it. That's defeat. Victory is when you see a problem and you understand it and you're able to solve it. Then you come up with a solution that's good all around. The kind of victory that doesn't turn back into defeat.